This is Hello Glass with another artist interview. What is your name and are you a glass artist? My name's Mad Rob. Yes, I'm a glass artist. Yes. How long have you been making glass and do you consider yourself a master? I've been making glass for 20 years and I'm definitely not a master. Your favorite style or type of glass to create with? I like colored borosilicate the best probably. What state is the home of your glass shop? Colorado. Do you own or work under a glass brand or an art name? Yeah, my art name is Mad Rob Glass. Do you make your living solely off glass art? Yes. If you could make glass with anyone living, who would that be? It's a pretty hard question. It does not have to be a glass bar. I like, I like Banjo Matt's work a lot. Hmm. Good call. There's so many good artists out there. It was a great answer. All right. What style or technique in glass is hardest for you to do? Probably the more sculptural things, the three-dimensional sculptures. I'm starting to work more into that kind of thing, but uh, where I have the least experience for sure. Name two people that taught or influenced your glass skills. There's two guys named Nick. Where I'm from Carbondale, Illinois, Nick Knuckles and Nick Rudy, and I always used to see their pieces when I was really young, like nine and ten years old, and I just loved them. I even kept broken pieces for like ever and looked at them before I was ever a glass blower. God, I always wanted to be a glass blower, I guess. Hmm. Is there any style or technique in glass that you would or will learn in the future? Uh, probably sculpting. I got a shop mate doing a lot of sculpting now, so it's been good to see how he's been progressing and the styles and things he does and how I could apply my knowledge to that stuff. Name two glass artists that impress you. I like Joe Peters and Banjo Matt. What style or technique in glass amazed you when you first saw it? I really liked line work when I first seen it because I hadn't seen it before. But uh, it was really challenging to do and I spent a lot of time practicing doing different kinds of line work, but that was probably some of the most intriguing. Now it's easier for me to know how things are made, I guess, since I have more knowledge. Worst injury you ever got making guys art. I cut my hand pretty bad one time cleaning a tube out that was hot that had a cork stuck in it and uh, I was using something to poke it out and cut my knuckles up in the middle of a tube pull that I had all the colors stuck in a tube in on the lathe and I taped it up and finished the tube pull. Felt like I won after that but that was the worst thing. I didn't get stitches or anything but I probably should have. What do you wish to accomplish in the glass industry? Mostly, I just want to keep blowing glass and help other people blow glass. Do you take apprentices? I do take apprentices. Um, they'd have to be pretty impressive right now for me to take another one. How does a glass fan get a hold of you or get to buy your art? Um, there's a lot of stores all over that sell it. You can buy it online in various places. You can buy what it. online sites? Um, Aqualab, The Cave, The Dab Store. You got a Facebook? Yes. Facebook's Mad Rob Glass. Cool. And there's a Mad Rob Glass business page and a Mad Rob Glass appreciation page. Instagram? Instagram's Mad Rob Glass as well. You've got three minutes to tell the world whatever you want. Go for it. My email is madrob at madrobglass.com. And uh, I like making pipes and I'm going to keep doing that. It doesn't matter who buys them or what I have to do to keep making and selling them. That's what I'll do. This was Hello Glass with another Real Glass Artist interview. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks.